Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. Hope you guys like my new intro. People have been asking me, how did I tame my birds? Why are they so tame? And how do I get my bird to like me? So today I'm gonna go over some of the do's and don'ts of taming a skittish bird. So before I really get into the examples, the most important thing when you're training any bird is paying attention to your bird's signals and really gaining their trust. What I really mean by this is if your bird is showing signs of not wanting to continue, that means that you're taking it too far and you need to work at the bird's pace. So getting into the actual examples, the first one is if you're trying to teach your bird to step up on your hand, do not push your hand into your bird's chest to get them to step up. You never want to use any kind of force to get your bird to do something you want because the goal of training your bird is to build a bond with them. So if you are pushing your hand into your bird's chest, the only reason they are stepping up is actually because they don't want to fall over and they don't want to lose their balance and it's uncomfortable for them. Now even with Kermit who is very trusting of me, if I tried pushing my hand into his chest, he would actually bite me. Instead, when you're teaching your bird to step up or any other behavior, the best way to do it is using positive reinforcement. So basically using food or anything else your bird likes as a reward when they complete the good behavior. If your bird is skittish, the best treat to start out with is millet spray if they like it because it's long so they don't have to get too close to your hand in order to eat it. Having them eat from your hand is the first step. But what you can do after that is start introducing your hand a little bit closer to your bird while feeding them. Now once your bird does not run away at the sight of your hand, what you can do is put your hand a few inches in front of your bird while still being at a safe distance and then put the treat in front of your hand to sort of lure the bird to step up. So stepping up is really just a way to get the bird to come and interact with you and you want your bird to want to interact with you. You want your bird to have full control of the process if you want to build a strong bond with your bird. The next thing I'm going to be discussing is getting your bird outside of the cage for the first time. Do not go right in your bird's cage and stick your hand in there and expect the bird to just step right up and come out. A bird's cage is their territory and their safe space. So if you stick your hand right in there, the bird will feel threatened because you're invading their space. If you are trying to get a scared bird out of their cage, the best way you can do it that allows the bird control of the process is using target training. Target training is just teaching your bird to follow a stick with their beak. And they do tend to learn this very quickly. Target, good bird. Using this to get a bird out of the cage just means that you put the target stick right at the entrance and then reward them. So they don't even have to come all the way out at first. And then what you can do eventually is just put the target stick right here. Target. And that is how you get a bird outside of the cage without any handling or force. You may have to start target training with your bird while they're inside of the cage like this. Target, good bird. So the next thing that you should never do when training your bird is grabbing at or chasing your bird. Now birds are prey animals, which means they're always on the lookout for predators. And you coming in and grabbing at your bird is very similar in a bird's eyes to a predator hunting them down. Putting your hand on their back takes a lot of training and trust for them to be comfortable with it. If they are running away or flying away or trying to lunge at you, you should immediately stop what you're doing and you should not be chasing your bird around. That just makes them view you as a predator and what you want in the long run is for them to have positive associations with you. The next thing that you should never do is punishing your bird. So that could mean if your bird bites you, flicking their beaks, spraying them with water, or maybe shaking your hand to knock them off balance. Basically, using punishment on your bird is not going to help stop the negative behavior that they're doing. 
Instead, it's going to make them have negative associations with you and make them even more scared. The last thing is don't get frustrated and give up if your bird is not showing results right away. It can take a long, long time to tame a bird depending on what their background is. But in the end, it is so rewarding to have a bond with a bird. So that was the video on the do's and don'ts of taming your bird. If you learned from this video, don't forget to subscribe and I will see you guys in another bird video. Thank you.